You're probably wondering what we're doing here. Well, we're sitting in the brand new club car carts at Kahiti, and we're going to be telling you a lot more about that. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn Willis, your host for the Teleco Village Golf Talk. With me as always is Chris Sykes, Director of Golf here at Teleco Village. And what kind of weather do we have here? 80 degrees, look at number 10 fairway and green down there. Everybody is loving it. Golf in Teleco Village has never been better. So Chris, how did how did we come about like getting these new cars? These are really nice. Yeah, they're, they're phenomenal and absolute game changer for, for the operation and the golf experience. And it was a long, uh, extensive, exhaustive process where we went through the, the entire discovery process and looked at every manufacturer uh, went through a thorough demonstration process and, and spent some time in the seat of each of the uh, the, the options uh, and you know we knew that we had a problem that we need to resolve uh, and these cards are a solution so we'll get into that a little bit more detail here in a moment but just you know our existing fleets we're pushing beyond uh, their capacity to support our operations we're having catastrophic failure not only here at Kahiti where we're the oldest fleet but at all three locations uh, so it was quite evident we needed to make a complete transition uh, to a new style, a new improved style of golf cart. Uh, so we were looking for a dependable and improved golf cart experience uh, as we went through negotiations and, and through the entire discovery process. Uh, we found out that uh, the used market is an all-time high, similar to you know the housing market or, yeah. or vehicle options and stuff like that. So there's a demand and shortage of used golf carts. So our trade-in values were really high in excess of $400,000 for our old rinkety carts. Um, so that was big. We were able to negotiate some free use equipment, so a vehicle for each of the golf course superintendents, some range pickers, uh, some tempo walks, which are autonomous caddies. We'll have those available initially at, at, at our Tokwa facility, so those are gonna be coming soon. Uh, so we'll give you some more insight on that. But you know what we found through the discovery process is that the regional trend was to go to uh, a, a lithium model. Lithium is new technology and lithium is uh, a solution for us here in Teleco Village. So, uh, and in addition, the trend is to lease your cars. Uh, everybody in our market is doing a four to five year lease. So we decided to go with a five year, which covers us for the term of the lease. So everything's under warranty for five years. Uh, the battery's good for five years. So, uh, you know, the lithium just is an absolute game changer for us because we're going to be able to go multiple rounds on a charge. You can quick charge, which you couldn't do with a lead acid. So we want to have those those failures that we've been experiencing. Okay. Uh, plus there's some energy savings uh, with the lithium versus you know the lead acid. So uh, it's just an absolute home run for us. Um, and you know a game changer for the operation, you know, just for the staff and, and the overall golf experience. Okay. So you didn't go to Google and just pick out the one you wanted to start with. This, you... this was a really about a six month process. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And you know a couple things that you know we'll touch on here in a minute. Uh, our features that we added based on feedback we got from folks, you know, the demo, our, our demonstration models. Uh, getting the fleet of Kahiti has obviously changed their lives out here, uh, and the other fleets aren't too far behind. Okay, and I understand there's a lot of little options and things which if a person first gets in the cart may not be aware of that. Can you or someone yeah, help us got, out there? We, we do. We got a, a, a guest star today, oh. uh, Tim Keller from Club Car. Tim, Chris, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Hey, so, Tim. Lynn, how are you? And it was interesting. My first conversation with Tim, I, I challenged him because his in-laws live on Hole 14 at Toqua. So his in-laws are Teleco Villagers, and I said, well, Tim, you should be highly motivated to earn our business. And he said, I am. So he went above and beyond and for sure earned our business. And while this is the best cart in the industry uh, and received the 2020 uh, best model, it also came at the lowest co total cost of ownership. So Tim jumped through all kinds of hoops to make this happen uh, and enable us to transition all three fleets. So Tim is uh, the, the, the regional sales manager for Club Car uh, for the states of Tennessee and Kentucky. And we're thankful that he's here local and his in-laws are here in the village. So he's uh, highly motivated to make sure that we are successful. 
right? I spend a lot of time here. No question about it. So <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, Tim, just kind of walk us through some of the features of our new club car Tempo lithium ions. Yeah, absolutely. And we'd be really appreciative. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Yeah. So as you can see, we'll kind of go over um, everything on the car here, but as you look at it, uh, first thing you'll notice is this platinum body color. And it's not just not just the body color itself, but what it is, it's a molded through platinum color. So um, basically, as it scratches, it's that gray platinum color all the way through. So you won't see scratches on the body as, as it goes. Um, the other thing- Wasn't the case with some of your competitors. Correct, yeah. Um, uh, some of our competitors just do a paint where if it scratches, you'll actually see the scratches underneath of the body. So it, it's built for fleet golf to hold up for the rigors of, of a lot of play that you do out here. Um, the other cool thing about this color with platinum is um, there's hard water in East Tennessee, as you know, and uh, the platinum color will actually hold up very well to water spots uh, over time, so you won't, you won't see the rigors of the hard water as well. Okay. Um, some of the other features, you'll see this nice cooler on the side here which uh, you, can, you can fill up if you need to take it off and fill it with ice, it comes off easily, goes back on there. Was one of the nice things about when the club car proposal was you got two options standard. Oh, okay. So we were able to get two divot pails on the driver's side and the cooler on the passenger side at no additional cost. And those items are, are rather expensive, to be honest. And I like the fact that, that you can pick, remove them. Sure. And go put ice in them and fill it up and whatever. Because I've seen some, uh, some of them, most of them I've seen are permanent type attachments. And then if you look at the top here, it's not just an ordinary canopy that it looks like. And I don't know if the camera can see it, but you'll see these channels that come all the way down. And then the back here, there's actually some, some drains. And the water will actually funnel down into the drain, down through the strut and come out the bottom. So on a rainy day, um, you're, you're not gonna have water pool on the top where it'll drip down on your shirt and get you wet. So uh, inside the golf cart itself, you'll see these nice premium seats. Uh, so this is an upgraded seat. It, it's extremely comfortable, very cushy. Um, though, from a golf standpoint and experience, I'm, I love playing in these things. They're, they're tremendous. That was a huge piece of feedback we got from our demonstration models. They all had premium seats. Everybody came back. That was the first thing. Hey, I love that car. I love the seat. Mm -hmm. I know for some of our bigger folks, Lynn and I are on, on the larger side. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of a break in with the sides of the seat. You know, the width you'll, you'll get. You know, they'll, you'll gain comfort as they wear. Sure. They break in. Yep. Uh, so uh, I've ridden in the same car, some other facilities. I'm like, wow, I cannot believe I'm comfortable. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's definitely a nice upgrade, and I'm glad you decided to go that route because they are um, they really enhance the experience out there. And um, inside the car itself, you'll notice up front here, um, it's actually the most room in the the industry from a storage standpoint. It's a open face up front. Um, lots of room for all your accessories, whatever you might bring out there. Um, USB ports, I see. Yep, USB ports on the side here. Flip up. Also, when Len plays in the rain, there's actually a, a drain built in the bottom here, so rain won't um, won't get in there and um, mess up your USB ports. Okay. Uh, cup holders for uh, different size drinks, whatever um, whatever you uh, yeah, want to bring I, I up there. I use a giant Yeti. And mm -hmm. this was the only model that had the capacity to accommodate my Yeti. So it'll take on different sizes of you know, whether a can or a and, bottle. And, or and, or and until he pointed it out, that the space is really noticeable, uh, the storage space there. Yeah, and the we have increased. some additional storage up here, too, that's kind of hidden. Uh, oh, yeah. There is. Your wallet up there, your valuables. As you move to the back of the car here, you'll notice we've got these rain covers. Um, we actually made a change here recently. If you'll notice the clip here, this used to be a Velcro. It's actually now magnetic. Um, Versus the zipper Velcro, it's correct. absolutely a no-brainer. Very easy to, to use, and then with the magnet, hold up over time as well. Um, and I, I want to tell you a, a quick story on the, the bag holders, um, just to show you how we take feedback from, from everybody. If you'll notice, there's a little hole here as you are opening and closing the, the lock on the bag holder. That actually came from a, um, a female player uh, that gave feedback to Club Car that when she was putting her bag on, kept breaking her nails. And so they actually yeah, designed, don't have to worry about breaking yeah, they actually anymore. designed this little uh, hole here so your hand will fit in there so you won't break your nails anymore. 
thought that was interesting. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, you've got your tow bar on the back here, which again, that more for the staff and, and players won't um, won't have to mess with what, that. We're only going to need those here at Kahiti because of the proximity of the car barn and the golf shop. Mm -hmm. But the feedback we've gotten from the staff, it's life changing. Yeah. Compared to the tow bar setup and, and you know how cumbersome it was to hook up with our, our previous models, they say that these are a dream. Yeah. It's uh, it, it definitely is gonna, from an operational standpoint, not just the players, but but your staff and, and everybody. It's just gonna make everything so much easier on the staff, which is which is what we no like to do. Home run. Um, sand bottles. Kind of yeah, you've got sand bottles on this side. So we do cooler on one side. The other accessory that we went with were our sand bottles. You've got holders here, um, and then kind of. One thing that, that maybe your players won't notice, but I know you'll you'll you've already alluded to it is the battery. Yeah, that's the game changer. Yeah, so you'll notice inside here as you lift it up, it, it's our Vanguard Lithium um, pack, and and if you've seen the previous models, you'll notice that they had six batteries in there um, that you know flooded lead acid and. And as the industry has evolved, lithium is kind of where everything's going in the future. And what this does, it is 100% maintenance free. You don't have to touch the battery over the lifespan. Five year warranty versus four, which is what you've had with flooded lead. And, you know, I think in previous years, you've, you've had to... We've had to flip them. Fl yeah, to run a golf cart for five years, we were running for six or seven, mm -hmm. we'd have to re-battery. So, what we're having was premature failure with the lead acid batteries. Mm -hmm. We weren't even making it to the point where we were trying to re-battery. So we, that'll be mitigated. These aren't going to lose life over the correct you know, charging capacity over the life of the battery. And what we've quickly determined is with the lead acid, you know, we may get 18 holes, have to you know, booster charge them, uh, quick charge them, which is bad for the battery, and then send them back out. Whereas these, uh, we're, we're going to be good to go for 45 if not 54 holes on a single charge. Correct. And, and while it does have a five-year warranty, these things have been tested in the field to go well beyond that, um, well beyond that lifespan. So oh, yeah. um, it, it really is going to be a game changer, um, both from the staff and then, you know, for players not have to worry about, is my car going to make it through 18 holes? And especially as much play as you're doing, cars going 18, 36, 54 holes in a day, um, you know, it, it's... It, very, very timely with our, our record play we're experiencing, yeah. for sure. Um, and then from a charging standpoint, this thing will go from 0 to 100% in less than 4 hours versus 8 to 10 on your flooded lead acid batteries from, from previous fleets. So the energy savings that you're going to see is, is going to be significant. So we greatly appreciate having Tim. Uh, he's going to get out in the field uh, a little bit and, and, and get into the, some of the details of the visage, but on a high level, can you just kind of go over this, the visage at a high level, what that does for us? Sure. Uh, before we uh, get into some of the, the detail and, and spend some time out in the field. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you'll notice inside the car, you, you've got these screens here. And, um, you know, everybody that goes through it is probably going to just think it's GPS. And, and yes, it is. But um, it's really an operational tool uh, for the staff as well. Um, you know, there's, there's things that I'll do from a, um, controlling the golf car from a speed standpoint. Let's, where, let's break that down. Yeah. So golf experience, yep. you know, we've got dynamic yardages. Yep. Kind of explain what that is. Yep. So th there's three different modules that, that come with this technology. So golfer experience is what your players and customers are going to, uh, experience when they're out on the golf course. So that's your, uh, dynamic yardages to the pin. Um, that's your. Um, so what does that mean, dynamic? I was so, going to ask that. So as you're as you're driving, you'll notice that the the number your yardage to the pin is going to change wherever you are in relation to the pin. So right now they're all set for the yardages to go to the middle of the green. Yeah, we're going to incorporate the whole locations. So. Yep. Um, so as you sit right here, you know you've got um, what does this say? We're hundred and. 75 yards, but as you drive closer to the green, as you get closer, you're going to be 150 yards, and it's going to show you that on the screen. It will constantly change. It'll be constantly changing to where you are in relation to the center. You'll actually be able to see 
how uh, how far you hit your tee ball, how far we are from the black tees, how far we are from the blue tees, the white tees, etc. You can touch the screen to get your just the features. Yeah, so as you see, hey, I want to know how far it is to this tree. Not that we ever hit it in the trees, but if you want to know how far, you actually will just touch the screen and it'll give you that yardage to whatever, the front of the green, uh, if you want to know how far it is to carry a water feature or a sand trap, you can touch it. Hey, I've got 150 yards to carry this. You can do all that on the screen. And I, and I tell you, I mean, I, I need precision. Yeah, one, of the, <laughs> one of the other cool things, um, and, and you know, I've noticed as you've gone through after, I think it's hole number seven, or hold hold eight, hole eight, yeah. you've got a sign saying call into the grill for placing your orders for food. Um, well, we're actually gonna be able to do all that on the screen now. So as we exit the seventh green and go to the eight tee, you're actually gonna get a pop-up saying, are you hungry? And we can customize a menu um, that will uh, populate and you can actually pick what you want, food, drinks, um, you know, customize the order how you want it. Yes, order, and it'll send it right into the grill. Uh, and as you come through, it'll be ready for you at the turn. Yeah, no, it's a, a home run as well. We have yet to integrate all that in, into the technology, but that's coming. Uh, and we're looking forward to having the ability to do that versus having to you know, jump on your phone. And uh, you can just do it all right there on the screen. Yep, you'll be able to do it if you want on the back nine as well. If you're, you know, time crunch for, for dinner at the end of your round and want to get it to go, boom, place your order, pick it up in the grill afterwards. and so kind of hit the, the high points of golf experience and then there's the car uh you know control car module. control yeah yeah so kind of give us some highlights on that yeah so car control is um it's really it's something that club car does that that nobody else can do um and some people can can control the cars but what we can do is we can control the speeds throughout the course, slow them down, uh, speed them up based on uh, terrain that you've got. If you've got a steep hill, we can actually slow the golf car down. Yeah. Um, if it's a really wet day and we need to uh, keep the cars on the cart path, we can actually do that. Whereas if you um, decide you want to try to get off the path, um, it'll it'll actually slow the car down or stop it however you wanted right. to control it so and, and tell tell the player we still hey, got a lot to incorporate there correct but i know you know going downhill as we go down descents which will be even more important to one tenacity we'll you know limit that and control it there'll be added safety we'll be able to uh control when they're navigating the parking lot where they make it yeah uh, we're yep. set up where they slow down at sure. crossings here uh, so, and, you know, really a lot of safety value. And what I wanted to say versus, you know, somebody can say, oh, they're just going to keep us on the cart path now. And, and it actually will allow you to get off the cart path more days than, than previously. Um, and, and I say that because, hey, number four uh, has really stayed wet, which in previous years may have caused you to go cart path only all the way around. Well, now we can actually just make hole number four cart path only and you can get off everywhere else. Or if, hey, midway through the day, it's dried up, you're out on the course, hey, you know what, we can let them off the path now. You just click your button and boom, you'll send a message out to everybody and hey, I can get off the cart path now. Yeah, so it, It's interesting, we're sitting here on 10 at Kahiti, mm -hmm. and it's a blind shot. Yep. And we'll, you'll, you'll know if the group in front of you is left. Correct. Because you'll be able to see their cars. Yep. So we have about two blind shots in each golf course. So that's going to mm -hmm. be huge. You know, we've got the, the bell at Tenassi. So hopefully we can, you know, more or less eliminate the use of the bell because you'll be able to see where the group is in front of you when yep. the landing area is cleared. Uh, so that's huge as well. Yep, absolutely. Um, Geofencing. Geofencing. So, um, you know, we'll basically put a, a wall around the property um, where uh, won't allow cars to to leave the property. Mm -hmm. um, so no more driving in somebody's backyard, no more driving, if you, somebody's driving down the street, no more theft if there is any. Yeah, we just keep the cars out of areas where we don't want them. Yeah, correct. Yeah, for, for safety or the, the health of the turf. And I guess the, 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 the last thing to kind of cover at a high level is just the fleet management piece. Sure. Uh, but before we go there, something that we've been paying close attention to since we got the Visage online here at Kahiti mm -hmm. is we get live, real-time pace of play. Sure. 
and we keep that up on the screen. I can look at it on my phone at home, and it's fascinating to see what we're learning yep. uh, as far as pace of play is concerned. And, and the way it's set up, we, we just scratched the surface, but the way it's set up, if you fall seven minutes behind, you're going to get an automated notification. Yep. Uh, and then if you find 15 minutes behind, you're going to get a second notification. That's when you're more than likely going to be paid a visit. But we'll be able to have online, real-time communication and know exactly where people stand. So yep. we'll be able to be more proactive mm -hmm. with pace of play versus being reactive. Because historically, by the time we realized the group was out of position, it was, it was too late. Yeah, and, you know, from a pace of play standpoint, it's not just a number that we're picking out of a hat. So we're actually taking the data from all the rounds that are going through, and we can actually get an average of how long it takes to play each hole. So it's not just, hey, 15 minutes per hole or 12 minutes per hole. It actually, par fives take a little bit longer. And a par six. Yeah, par six, yeah. This, this hole takes a little bit longer to play. So we're gonna match it up and we'll be adjusting that. So you'll have a true pace of play for how long it's gonna take on average to play each hole. Fleet management, you know, another thing I can look, log into and look at is you know, which carts are on charge, mm -hmm. which carts you need to have some sort of service interval. Yep. Uh, so we can, from any location, uh, web based, see what's going on with our cars. Yep. And, uh, you know, if we need to call in for assistance, and well, obviously everything's covered, but uh, that's going to be very seldom going to be the case because I know these cars are incredibly dependable. So, one of the things that's actually pretty cool having the uh, Visit system and, and lithium is um, so our. Uh, technicians in, in Sarasota, Florida for, for GPSI, they can actually um, view your fleet from Sarasota remotely, but they can actually diagnose potential problems on the fleet um, before you might even notice it or before somebody. So we'll actually, it, it's really cool. We can send updates to the battery through through the Vista system. Um, you know, from uh, you'll be able to check every night if you've got a busy day. Hey, all my cars are on charge. We, we noticed that, you know, we started paying more attention to that because, yep. you know, we've got a whole bunch of different folks that work here inside mm -hmm. and outside and new carts and new mm -hmm. plugs. And, you know, there was one evening where we didn't get them plugged in good. Yep. But we can identify that before it becomes a problem. Sure. Because we can flat out just see it, you know, whatever car is doing and manage your amp hours and all that yep. kind of stuff so i mean we, we can really get in the weeds there and we're sure. excited about the technology and the impact that's going to have in the operation um so if you wouldn't mind just kind of closing us up here lynn first of all again let's thank teleco village broadcasting for being out here with us doing this so thank you a lot uh, we just hope that um you've enjoyed hearing about the new carts i think everyone that's used them enjoy it and if you haven't you will so uh, with all of that, uh, we wish Teleco Village and all of our people a, a glorious day here. Let's play golf. You got it. Hey, Tim, Thanks. thank you so yeah. much for participating. Thank you, everybody. Tee it up. Mm -hmm.